the Lord speaks in peace to his people and his holy ones, and to those who turn to him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to seek sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelations. I, John, looked, and there was a white cloud, and sitting on the cloud, one who liked, looked like the Son of Man with a gold crown on his head and a sharp sickle in his hand. Another angel came out of the temple, crying out in a loud voice to the one sitting on the cloud, Use your sickle and reap the harvest, for the time to reap has come, because the earth's harvest is fully ripe. So the one who was sitting on the cloud swung his sickle over the earth, and the earth was harvested. Then another angel came out of the temple in heaven, who also had a sharp sickle. Then another angel came from the altar who was in charge of the fire and cried out in a loud voice to the one who had the sharp sickle, Use your sharp sickle and cut the clusters from the earth's vines, for its grapes are ripe. So the angel swung his sickle over the earth and cut the earth's vintage. He threw it into the great winepress of God's fury. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response, the Lord comes to judge the earth. The Lord, the Lord comes to judge the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the people with equity. The Lord, the Lord comes to judge the earth. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Before the Lord he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Remain faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. While some people were speaking about how the temple was adorned with costly stones and votive offerings, Jesus said, All that you see here, the days will come when there will not be left a stone upon another stone that will not be thrown down. Then they asked him, Teacher, when will this happen? And what sign will there be when all these things are about to happen? He answered, See that you are not deceived, for many will come by my name saying, I am he, and the time has come. Do not follow them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified, for such things must happen first, 
but it will not immediately be the end. Then he said to them, Nation will rise up against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be powerful earthquakes, famines, and plagues from place to place. And awesome sights and mighty signs will come from the sky. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, no doubt uh, this morning in the reading from Revelations, you heard the perhaps the similarity of what John was saying and what Luke was saying in the Gospel. Although, I have to admit, and, and certainly I, I love the way John's writings, but perhaps he was the most, wrote in the most mystical kind of way. They're both talking, of course, about end times. And in Revelations, judgment depicts, is, judgment is depicted by the harvesting. And the wine press, of course, depicts God's wrath and judgment. Remember, if you recall how uh, wine presses of that period worked, wine was put in the top section, stomped to release the, the juice into a lower bin. But that trampling reflects God's wrath. End times. Christ. We have to remember this about Christ. He, he wasn't saying things to scare, frighten his followers. No, he was speaking out of love to warn them, just as he is warning us. The same message, essentially, that John was, was passing along to us as well. Christ wanted us to know what to expect and what to be ready for. What we must do, we know, because he taught us that repeatedly, what was expected of us, to live good, to avoid evil, to love God. And he's also saying in the gospel, Essentially, he's letting them know it's going to happen when I'm not here. So you have to be persistent. You have to be ready. It's a simple message. And if we simply adhere to what he taught us and remember how much he loved us, we're going to be okay. Simply follow what our beloved St. Mother Teresa advised. Let nothing come between you and Jesus. And we'll all be fine. Peace be with you. We're coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. For Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy with the people entrusted to their charge, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who hold public office and those who assist them in promoting the common good, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who travel by sea, land, or air, for captives and all held in prison, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all of us gathered in this sacred place by faith and devotion, by love and reverence, for God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those in our community, both here present and those watching on video, who are suffering, whether from physical, emotional, or mental illness, that they may be comforted by the resurrected Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Tabitha Lee, may she rest in peace. 
and who this Mass is being offered for. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all of our intentions, spoken and unspoken, joined through the intercession of St. Thomas the Apostle, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And during this month of November, let us also remember all of our holy dead, especially those whose names have been placed upon our altars, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, but through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of the Lord his name, for our good and good of all of us, Holy Church. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which, at your bidding, we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, grant us unfailing obedience to your commands. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be Praise the Lord, all ye nations, for his merciful love towards us is great.
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael for our families. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine powers, rush into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praise of protection against arms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed, Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit and the soul. Blessed be great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and his saints.